Oh well, it's just like the ocean under the moon. Well, it's the same as the emotion when I'm in front of you. You got that kind of love, and that could be so smooth. You give me your heart, make it real, or else forget about it. Hi, welcome back to another One Chart Lesson. Today we are doing Smooth by uh, Rob Thomas and Carlos Santana. It's a really famous song. It was huge when it came out. There are lots of lessons online dealing with this song. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you through a, a, a version of this kind of from a, an acoustic guitarist's perspective, which is kind of like what you heard me do just then. We're going to run through the chords and do everything. I will cover that first little signature riff very quickly uh, because it's the kind of riff that, that everyone recognizes. But first let's do this song through from a rhythm perspective. Our chords, very interesting actually, it's a, they're, they're really nice chords in this song. If you start with A minor, your main groove is going to be A minor, F, and I like to do the F over C, which is that third finger on the third fret of the A string, so you're putting a C bass note underneath your F chord. Then you go to an E, then you change it to an E7. That's your main groove for the song. That kind of goes through 90% of the song. So we've got A minor, F slash C, E, E7. Rhythmically speaking, what's important about that is that you change to the E on the four and, and then you change to the E7 on the two end of the next bar. So it's one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Because those last two chords change on an and, you want to catch them on an up strum. So they fit in really kind of perfectly in that groove and your strumming and the movement of your right hand or your strumming hand stays natural. One and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. Now whether you're plucking with your fingers like I kind of do or whether you're strumming, it's the same theory. You're changing on that four and beat and the two and beat. If you want to learn more about how I'm doing that finger style rhythm, then skip to the end of the video. We're going to be doing that. I'll break that down a little bit at the end of the video. But for now, Imagine I've got a pick, it's the same thing, I'm strumming with a fingernail or fingernails or a pick, same action. So, that's the first bit. A minor, F slash C, E, E7. Well, it's a hot one, like seven inches from the midday sun. Now here's the, the first little change, which goes D minor 7. Reach your third finger over and put a C note underneath that. So it's a D minor 7 slash C or over C. Then we go to a B diminished. And there are a few different ways or many different ways you can voice that chord. I find this one a really easy one to remember. Plus it's kind of consistent with the notes you're using in the, in the other chords. So sonically speaking, if that doesn't sound too... Um, sonically speaking, your chords are kind of blending together nicely. It's a run of chords that goes D minor 7, D minor 7 slash, slash C, B diminished, E7, and then back to the groove. So I'll do it again. First goes through that groove again a few more times, goes through that change again. Then we head into the chorus, which is basically the same, but with a slightly different second half. And if you said this life ain't good enough, same four chords, I will give my word to lift you up. Doing it. One more time. I would change my life to better suit your mood 
now we're gonna go back to the D minor 7 again down to the C bass underneath that chord again B diminished now here's where it changes instead of going down to the E7 you go to a G7 and do the bar chord then just slide that chord down one fret and put your pinky on the G string fourth fret so you're playing an F sharp 7 sus4 or add 4 you don't have to have that finger there but moving it down from the G7 just add your pinky there then head up to an E7 sharp 9 otherwise known as the Hendrix chord and if you don't know the Hendrix chord I'm going to put a link into uh, my video on how to do Hendrix riffs on an acoustic guitar that teaches you how to get around that chord really really easily and gives you some nice funky exercises to start playing Jimi Hendrix style riffs link below so that run again and really lay into that E7 sharp 9 chord okay We're, and then the second half of the chorus is the same almost the same well, it's just like the ocean under the moon Well, it's the same as the emotion when I'm in front of you You got the kind of loving that could be so smooth Give me your heart, make it real So that's a D minor 7 D minor 7 again, E7 Or else forget about it Back to the groove That is the entire song. Those parts, if you get those flowing smoothly, they are basically the, the two, two and a half sections for that entire song. It's a fantastic song and it's really, really fun to play once you can get your fingers around those little kind of descending chord progressions. So, if you want to play that kind of finger style, then here is the here's, here's the way I play it anyway and if you like the sound of it then this is what I'm doing right so all exact same chords of course thumb on the root note almost for all these chords but with just a couple of changes thumb and then with three fingers here I'm pulling the D G and B strings of the A minor chord and then back to the thumb then we're going up to the F slash C and doing the root note which is actually the C in this case again with the three fingers on the chord so when I do the E my thumb is still on the A string second fret but on the very next beat it goes over to the low E string and I lift that finger off to make the E7. So it's like this, I'll do it really slowly and hopefully you can see this, maybe I'll try and zoom in on, the, on my right hand so you can see what's going on. come down to those those chords that are descending you don't really have to do much at all except spell out those chords and you can do them in a quite quite a straightforward simple way with your strumming hand the important thing is to get the right note with your thumb D string A string A string again E string and in the chorus rundown same thing for those chords then the G7 hit the E string for the F sharp hit the E string again and then you know you can keep doing that but 
but it sounds really good if you build that up and kind of start strumming and thrashing that chord a little bit for that section, for the Hendrix chord section. So that's really all I'm doing to break that down into a, into a finger style kind of thing. I think it's a fun thing to do because it lets you pull back the dynamics of that song a little bit, especially when you come to a for us forget about it. And then when you build it up again, you can, you know, do more, strum more, lift it up to another level. That's it. Now we're going to jump over and just pull apart that uh, solo section. I'm going to play this groove over the intro solo and we'll show you how that goes real quick. riff goes like this starting on the 12th fret D string come down to the 13 hammer back onto the 14 12 on the B string then bend that a half step back to the 14 G string 12 B then you go 13 B 14 14 on the G string. Again. Then you come down to the 7th fret G string. So you bend that up three times, only picking it once. Then with your pinky, catch the 8th fret of the B string. Then bend that down again come down to the 5th fret on the G string. Last bit, come back up to the 7, go 7, 5, 4, so then 7, 6 on the D, 7, slide up to 9, go back to 7, so that's all there is to it. The rest of the solo I'm going to leave to other guys who are have already done really good tutorials for the Santana lead breaks throughout this song. So I'm not going to do that. I'm, we're just focusing on the rhythm for this time and it's going to sound like this. Here's the, here's the riff all the way through. Thank you for watching and we'll see you here again soon. Give me your heart, make it real or else forget about it.